Assalamualaikum, berjumpa lagi. Hari ini Kak Nora nak buat curry puff berintikan daging. Ini sesuai dimakan bila-bila masa dan dia sedap diminum bersama kopi kampung. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like having beef curry puff today. With my recipe, you can either fry them or bake them into the oven. And at the same time, you can freeze them. Put them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them in the freezer. I hope with this recipe, you guys will enjoy it. Please like, subscribe and share. And thank you for watching. These are the ingredients for my curry puff fillings. I have about 100 gram of minced beef. I use quarter onion, three large potato, I have some coriander and some dried curry leaf and I have one teaspoon of uh, vegeta, vegetable stock and I have one um, tablespoon of curry powder and some salt for seasoning. Untuk uh, resepi inti curry puff, Kak Nora menggunakan 100 gram daging yang telah dikisar setengah uh, biji bawang besar ataupun uh, suku bawang besar Kak Nora menggunakan 3 biji ubi kentang yang saiz besar sedikit koriander daun kari satu sudu kecil um, serbuk perasa iaitu vegetable vegeta dan juga satu sudu besar serbuk kari I'm going to cut my potato into small cube. Potongkan begini saja. going to be like this. I'm going to add 3 tablespoon of cooking oil. 3 sudu besar minyak masak. Add chopped onion. Masukkan bawang. You need to fry the onion until it golden brown. Masakkan sehingga kuning. Add minced beef, masukkan daging, and cook them with low heat fire dengan api yang kecil. Add curry leaf, masukkan daun curry. I'm going to add uh, one tablespoon of curry powder. Masukkan serbuk curry. One teaspoon of uh, vegeta. I like it with a uh, little spicy, and I'm going to add another half tablespoon of curry powder. It's depending how much you want. Masukkan lagi setengah sudu besar serbuk curry. And now I'm going to add my potato. Masukkan potato. I'm going to add about one cup of water. Masukkan sedikit air. You need to make sure that the potato is nicely cooked and soft. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, garam secukup rasa. I'm going to add another half cup of water just to make sure that my potato is soft. Masukkan sedikit air. 
I'm going to add about half teaspoon of brown sugar. This is optional. I'm going to add some coriander. Masukkan sedikit daun coriander. My curry puff fillings is already done. They nicely cook and soft. Sekarang, Kak Nora akan prepare pastry ni pula. For curry puff pastry, I'm using 3 cups of plain flour, 2 tablespoon of olive spread. You can also use margarine and uh, a pinch of salt. I'm going to add my olive spread into the flour. Masukkan uh, margarine ke dalam tepung. I'm going to add hot water into my salt. Hot boil water, okay? And pour them into the flour. You need to mix them well like this using spatula. I'm going to add a bit more hot water just to make sure that all is combined nicely. Now I'm going to use my hand to mix them well and to make a dough. You need to make sure that you have a soft and fine dough like this in order for you to have a soft and crispy curry puff. Anda mesti uh, dapatkan dough yang lembut macam ini untuk uh, rasa yang sedap dan crispy bila anda goreng curry puff. I'm going to rest my dough for about uh, 30 minutes. Biarkan dough ini dalam 30 minit. My dough nicely set. Now, I'm going to make a small ball like this in order for you to have a nice shape of your curry puff. I'm making small ball like this just to make sure that I have a nice shape and same size of my curry puff. Untuk mendapatkan uh, bentuk dan saiz yang sama, anda harus bulat-bulatkan dia macam ni. You need to flatten the dough like this. Add the filling. I'm going to add cooking oil into the pot. Masukkan minyak masak ke dalam rio. I'm going to fry curry puff with low heat fire. Gorengkan dengan api yang kecil. This is my beef curry puff. Kepada anda, selamat mencuba.